Hello there, I'm Brian. I'm from Champs Mobile. Champs Mobile, uh, or Champs, has uh, been around. Uh, some of you might know Champs uh, here in Nigeria. Um, they are involved in a lot of different projects, uh, electronic ID, um, ATMs, um, they have a switch uh, as well, and so forth. Um, now, um, they also have, um, or they have a company called Champs Mobile um, that holds a, an end payment license. And uh, we are now joint venture partners in this company. Uh, I actually rep represent uh, both Champs Mobile, where I'm the MD, um, but also Bancor, where I'm the CEO for our global business. So why am I here in uh, Nigeria? Well, before I sort of go into the presentation, um, we, we operate a global business where we uh, are actually targeting banking or the unbanked of the world. Um, and uh, we have a, a clear goal of um, reaching around 100 million users uh, 12 to 18 months from now. Um, and Nigeria is a pretty important part of that, uh, which is why I'm here, um, because uh, I actually believe that this market in Nigeria uh, has an amazing potential and that we have only scratched the surface so far. So let me just, very short, and uh, this is not to make this uh, any marketing exercise, but um, if you don't know what we do, how can you possibly um, have any idea of what it is I'm trying to say? So what we have is a transactional platform. Now, we've built a system where we work as a sort of a bank proxy solution. What does that mean? Well, in our world, we never hold any money. We always have a bank sitting underneath, and then everybody here holding a payment license knows exactly what that means, that the float sits with the bank, and that's even how it is today. But we do this on a global basis. Um, we are having papers from all the countries we operate in that we are actually not regulated by the local uh, regulators, central banks, etc because the banks are always handling the float and we at never any point during the transaction hold the consumer funds, okay? So how have we done this on a global basis? Well, we're actually working with uh, Visa and MasterCard. Um, we are global program managers uh, for them. And whenever we enter a new country, one of the first things we do is that we um, find a bank that will allow us to utilize their bin to actually issue uh, these cards and manage their funds. Now, um, then most of you will think, well, that's sort of the debit card schemes that, that you already heard about, and that's true, um, and that's growing quite rapidly. But one of the big issues with this is that normally this demands for certain levels of KYC, which of course is where the digital management comes in. So. What I'm showing you here is, um, is our website here in uh, Nigeria. And as you can see, um, the brand is Kiko here, operated by Champs Mobile and Banco. And really, and you can try it because it is actually working and live, you can just go here, click sign up, and you know, in a few seconds you will have an account. You won't right now in Nigeria, unfortunately, get a free visa that we give to users all over the rest of the world because Visa has some certain restrictions on Nigeria, which means we need to have a local bin, and that will come very shortly. So what we think um, is the trick here is to empower people. Um, and it's back to this very simple discussion that's been maybe scratched, maybe even touched a few times during the day. But if I was living in Nigeria all the time, um, I'm nearly that, but, but not completely, uh, but I was living in a rural area uh, with very limited access to banks, ATMs, uh, even maybe remittance agents, etc. What is exactly the reason for me to sign up? Now, we can all see here, we can have an attitude towards that, you know. Well, it's good for the economy, it's fantastic that, you know, we can lower cost and transactions, it's great that we can follow the money trails and so forth. But the guy at the street, he doesn't care anything about any of this. Not at all, okay? He's really only interested in one thing, and that's the benefits that it gives him. Now, funny enough, that actually also is the case with digital ID, right? Digital ID, if I'm on the street, why would I want to do this? 
So unless we actually identify the real advantages with doing this, we're not going to get anywhere, in my opinion. So um, we talk about combining these two and thereby providing some real advantages. Now, digital ID gives you, of course, the right to vote. It gives you a direct link when you combine it with a financial identity, a direct link to receive pension funds, payroll, etc. So we are working very closely with CHAMS and the digital ID projects right now to go and take over payroll for some of the um, public servants. And as you probably know, even today, I think it's 85% of public servants in Nigeria are still getting paid in cash. And um, we need, of course, to cut that down to being 0%. Now, this is being pushed by, of course, the central bank, but also highly interesting from the local communes. So by combining the identity that CHAMs are collecting for these people with a payroll product where we can actually manage their payroll using the CHAM switch and combining that with a wallet allowing them to do all these traditional banking services that all us bank people are used to, then we are starting to really empower people and they start to see an advantage of actually doing this. I'm simply not going to go through this because I'm being stopped by time down here, um, but uh, more than happy to, to share the file. But this is really about some of the challenges uh, and how we address it. And I can actually, I recognize the person over here earlier today saying that, um, that the real problem is the network capacity. So the network capacity and the actual access to the service. And, and it's very simple. It comes down to trust. I can give you trust by giving you a visa in your hand. I can give you trust by saying that this is approved by CBN and it's working with a big bank here in Nigeria. But if I can't access my funds and I can't spend them, then it doesn't really work. Now, the way we have addressed that is supporting any handset on the market and any kind of communication protocol including USSD. And um, that's at least what I would suggest for most of, you, most of you to do, support USSD as far as you possibly can, because that is probably the only way right now to really reach even in the rural areas and even when there's low capacity on the networks. Uh, and we are happy to share our, let's say, knowledge and, and, and experience with USSD uh, with you guys. Um, for those of you interested, like I said, you're more than welcome to see this. Um, um, basically, what we have here is an overview of the initiative that CHAMPS are doing on the electronic ID side. What's important is we are talking full KYC here, meaning with biometric data as well. So the ones that want to do biometric uh, payments, they can actually also get involved in this together with CHAMS. The ones that want to utilize this to verify existing data can get uh, introduced to this uh, together with CHAMS as well. Um, and for those uh, product or projects that you might have, please come and share. And um, like we have talked about all day, I think sharing is the key here. Thank you. That was all for me.